Caroline Faraday is there live uh, for us now. And has it stood the test of time? Well, I'm, I'm enjoying just sitting at the Prime Minister's desk. This is Chequers, since you ask. And yes, the TV show was much loved in the 1980s when the hapless Prime Minister, Jim Hacker, was, well, outwitted by his civil servants. The original writers have teamed up uh, to put together this stage production. It was rumoured to be the late Baroness Thatcher's favourite TV show. Oh, but are there other things I don't know about the defence of the United Kingdom? Uh, I don't know, Prime Minister. I don't know what you don't know. In the 1980s, Yes Prime Minister satirised life in the Prime Minister's office, long before spin was part of the national vernacular. He certainly didn't go to Oxford or Cambridge. He didn't even go to the LSE. <laughs> In the stage show, Jim Hacker is still running the country. Humphrey, in words of one syllable, is this loan dependent upon us abandoning Sterling and joining the euro? Well, dependent has three syllables and abandoning has four, so... <laughs> and while times may have changed, perhaps less has changed about politics in the last 28 years than we might imagine. The only difference is it's a coalition government, but everything else is the same. They're talking about Europe, should we be in Europe, should we not, should we join the euro? Uh, is banking going to cause us all the problems it has and continue to? Uh, everything is the same. But it's his cabinet secretary who's the tail that wags the dog. Well, what's he interested in? Does he watch television? He hasn't even got a set. Fine, make him a governor of the BBC. <laughs> Anthony Joe, who really was the one who specialised, I think, in the writing du du duo in, in Sir Humphrey. I mean, he really was well connected and he understood that these people exist. Satire certainly had momentum in the 80s. Not only Yes Prime Minister, but the mighty spitting image. You were the uh, voice of the chicken summer. I was the lead vocalist on the chicken summer. I mean, there aren't many people who've had a number one hit, but unfortunately mine was not one of the greats. It's not one of the ones that people say, you did hard, I love that song. What they say is, you won that, you idiot. And then I tell them how much I earned. And then they're very jealous. They don't think you're so stupid. No, no. <laughs> so while the fashions and technologies might have changed, this is one show with timeless humour. That's why that torpedo landed on Sandwich Golf Course. <laughs> Obviously, it's a stage show. It's two and a half hours long, so much longer than the half-hour TV show. So there's more mayhem than ever. The country is on the brink of financial disaster. Can his advisers save the day? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Thanks very much, Caroline.